Thanks for joining me in this episode. Um, we've been on this series, Purpose. You know, um, still talking on this, uh, Purpose, we want to take it further, you know, to some extent where we will share our thoughts on a few terminologies, you know, that uh, have often constituted uh, so much misconception to a whole lot of people. Um, what are these terminologies? You know, talking about dream, you know, so many persons do not understand, you know, the difference between dream and uh, a purpose or dream and vision, you know, and uh, sometimes we tend to use them interchangeably. And, um, you know, when you talk about profession, you know, what is, what is the role, as in the role of profession in actualizing or in the pursuit of purpose and uh, the role of talent, the role of gift, then you talk about skills, you know, which I'll be looking at these various concepts, these various terminologies and clearing the air on them for proper or better understanding. Yeah, when you talk about purpose, you know, like I said in our previous broadcast, you know, that purpose is simply the reason for the creation of man, okay? Now, then when you talk about dream, dream is, you know, the creation of man for man. That is what man wants to achieve. But sometimes, you know, dream might align with purpose. Now, if what God wants you to actualize, what God wants you to, the need God wants you to feel is S, Y, Z, for instance, and you desire or you dream, your dream is to fulfill S, Y, Z, then there's, a line, there's an alignment, you know, of purpose and dream. So, but sometimes your dream might not align with purpose. And that is where sometimes you have some level of uh, frustrations and you cannot achieve fulfillment. There's something I didn't tell us about when I was talking about purpose, that purpose brings about, fulfillment of purpose brings about fulfillment. Yes. So, now, uh, dream you know, is what man desires for himself or to achieve. Sometimes it can align or it can align with purpose, like I said. Yeah. So simply put, for better understanding, purpose is given by God, but dream is given by man. Then let's talk about uh, our profession. That's the role of prof profession in actualizing or in the pursuit of purpose. Profession, talent, gift, and skills. Now, profession is simply you know, what you are doing, you know, that brings about livelihood. That's what you are doing, your life, your means of livelihood. You know, what you do that brings money to your pocket. So the end product of profession is to better your pocket. It fattens your pocket. That's what profession does. Now, your profession, you know, it could be what you are doing, maybe your business or you are working in a company, you're a medical doctor, you are a psychologist, you know, what you study, your career path, that's what profession is all about. Now, then when you talk about gift, gift could also, you know, be utilized on a career path. Yes, but the major difference between gift and uh, talent is that gift is given by God. You don't learn it. It's inbuilt in you. It is given to you by God. It's the same thing as talent. But what differentiates gift or talent from skills is that skills is man-made. Skills is learned. You learn it. <coughs> Sorry. You learn skill. You know, through the process of training. So you see the fundamental difference between skill, talent, and profession. Now, uh, uh, skill, talent, and gift. Now, talent is the same thing as gift given by God. It comes from God. God alone. You can learn it. But it comes to anything that you've learned or that which has to do with learning, then it becomes skill. You acquire it. So skill is a manifestation, a man-made manifestation. Why talent and uh, gift is God's gift. is given by God. Then talent and gift are instrumentality. They are Professional instrumentality, the instrumentality required for successful, you know, actualization or accomplishment of 
profession. Now, in other words, uh, you could you you, you could uh, acquire a skill or you have a talent and develop profession in that regard or in that line. Let's take for instance, it could be a football skill. You acquire a football skill, then as you are taking step and it's bringing money to your end, is fattening your pocket, it becomes a profession. Now, so that's why you see people talking about the football profession because it's already make money. And mind you, it becomes a profession when it starts profiting you. It's profiting you, it's, make, it's bringing money to you. There's a profession. Look at the word, profession, excellence, progressiveness. You know, so when your skill is transformed into money venture, look at comedians today, we have a lot of comedians everywhere and they are making hell of money. We have artists, musical artists everywhere, they are making so much money. It's their profession. Now, they are transforming skill to profession. So meaning skill and talent, they are all instrumentality in professional or a journey or in career. So that is it. Now, what does this, or what's the significance of this analysis to pursuit of purpose? Now, recall I did to, or I did say that uh, um, the end product of profession is to fatten your pocket, you're a musical artist, engaging your talent or engaging your musical skill, you're a footballer, engaging your football skill or uh, a football skill or talent, you are a comedian, engaging your skill, your comedy skill or talent. The end product of this whole thing, you know, in this profession is to bring money to you. Yes, there's also a part of it that has to do with, you know, uh, uh, self actualization It gives you excitement and happiness where your passion is aligned to the way it's in the area of your passion, you know, and you are very happy, you are excited. Sometimes some people are not even considering the monetary aspect of it, but, you know, you cannot say it's a profession when it's not bringing in money. That's the point I want us to understand. For it to be a profession, it has to be money yielding or because it fattens your pocket. That's the end product of profession. Then we talk about purpose, how do you align all this with purpose? Now, purpose cannot fulfill itself. Now, the end product of purpose is to better lives. You see the major difference between purpose and vision? So sometimes people mistake, you know, a purpose to be profession and profession to be purpose. So we say, yeah, I'm a medical doctor. A medical doctor may not actually be your calling. Now, it becomes your calling when you are able to transcribe the profession you know, by way of giving free treatment to people. So when monetary attachment, you know, is no longer the objective, then most likely it becomes a purpose. Are you seeing the connection? It becomes a purpose. Now, if, for instance, a medical doctor decides to say, okay, I'm going to this community as a volunteer. I want to go treat everybody with malaria and typhoid and all that. I'm doing this for free. I'm doing it with my own money. Nobody's paying me to do it. Or I'm going and I'm not charging for my services. I'm going to do it for free. Wow. Then it becomes purpose. Because purpose is sacrificial. But when you are going there to do it and you are being paid for it, it's a profession. So you see the thin line between the both? So we must understand, you know, when it's profession and when it's purpose. And sometimes you see people, you know, attaining the zenith of a career, that's career excellence, and they mistake their career for success in purpose. It's two different things. If you achieve career excellence, you have succeeded for yourself and your family alone. Yes, it could create some impact, you could do a few things. Now, with the excellence you've made from your uh, career path, the excellence in your career path, if you not transform it into saving lives, into, you know, bringing joy to the lives of people, then it becomes purpose. So if you've succeeded, you know, in your career path and you succeeded in storing so much money for just you and your family alone without looking outside, without putting smiles on the faces of people, without giving into some sort of philanthropy, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, philanthropic, uh, 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 dispositions and all that, then you have not actually, you know, fulfilled purpose. Purpose has to do with making life happy. Purpose has, uh, purpose has to do with people putting smiles on the face of people. So the end product of purpose is to better lives. So it's lives, lives. So when you succeed in profession, you should be able to transcribe or transform the success in your profession into 
battery lives. That is when it becomes focused. So you see the uh, connectivity of these various technologies. I believe you've learned something today. And uh, if you know you've learned something, please kindly click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for always being there.